right, here we are again. Time for some ancient battles with DBA 3.0. My name is Tony Aguilar, and I'm here with Mitch Harbach. Hello, all. And we're going to be duking it out again. Another match pair here from Book 2. Pits the Romans versus Mithridates. Hey, Mitch, uh, why don't you tell us uh, what army you got there on the uh, right-hand side? All right, so this is a Book 248. Mithridatic, and uh, on the far left here we have a fast ox and a fast ox, a saloy, four solid pike, a side chariot, and a knight, a solid ox, a cab general, and a light cab. Okay, so <laughs> a, kind of a little unusual that your general is not the knight element. No, yep, he's uh, on the move. <laughs> okay, and on this side, uh, we've got the uh, Marian Romans, and here we've got a cavalry general, another cav, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight blades, the legionnaires, and then two saloi. Uh, Romans actually won terrain and uh, set out the terrain. We've got a road here, uh, a scrubby. Oh, a BUA. Well, this is actually a hamlet, so this actually gets treated like a. Um, it's rough going, and it blocks uh, line of sight like a woods. You can see a half base width in there, um, and of course the two camps. And hey, Mitch, we got something else new on the board there. Hey, that, uh, what are our up north purchase for new filming? Yeah, that's right. We've uh, worn out the black and white dice, so we've gone to the. Um, the green and the red, so I'll be paying the peace nicks and you'll be the commie bastards. <laughs> <clears throat> so this is uh, the new colors. Hopefully they, uh, looks like they, they show up okay on the screen, so. Um, okay, and um, so I am the defender, so I'll get the first bound. There we go. Oh, there we go. The curse of the uh, green die. There we go. Now we're going to hear, hey, the green die always rolls badly. <laughs> Okay, so when you move in this terrain, um, you have to go the, the non-good uh, going terrain in there, but you can group move through there. So I could move everybody, literally one, including in there. And uh, it's rough going, not bad going. So what does that mean is, is that they're not minus two in close combat. They are... They just, anybody who contacts them, this isn't good going. So what it basically does is it like eliminates the quick kill that knights have on blade and good and uh, open ground, those sorts of things. So um, it's kind of been between terrain. And Saloy, Cab versus yeah. Saloy. So we're going to move these guys up as a group. I'll bring him up there with them as well. These two guys will stay back here. And Mitch, you're up. Alrighty. What you having to drink there? <laughs> oh, uh, this is for the people in Australia who don't know what uh, a green lime is. We've got a gin and tonic with uh, lots of uh, lime. So. <clears throat> Tanqueray and uh, lime. Hey, look at there. Oh, we're, look at this. We're anxious. Okay, so what you're saying is is you picked these dice out at Historicon. I did. And uh, you picked the, that particular red one out for you. But for you yourself. picked which one you're going to play with. <laughs> Assigned the green one to me. Hey, I like green. <laughs> I always play green in board games, so. Okay. Alright, so there is. This will be one. So that's one. Mm -hmm. You could get to be burning a few pips. Oh, uh, why not? You know, he mm -hmm. just kind of do some fun things every now and then. Right? So, for those of you that don't know, side chariots. Um, well, this is the first bound, so it doesn't really matter. But side chariots would cost two pips to move normally, unless they go into close combat. Uh, of course, this being the first bound, everything costs one pip uh, to begin with, so that really won't matter. But and side chariots are like uh, Saloy also, that if they contact anybody, if they were to crash right into the front of these blades, 
they um, and they're even like this. They they won't get a minus one for the guys beside them, kind of like Saloy. Now, if anybody's past their front, like if they crash into this guy here, and there's a little there's a guy a little bit past him, this guy would give a minus one on. But if there's anybody that's even next to him side by side, they won't get a minus one. So that kind of encouraged them being used in their historical fashion, which is basically like uh, kind of like bowling. So. And of oh, course, they don't count against them. It's just like um, like a horde. Neat element that doesn't. Uh, there's not that many armies that have them. Maybe I don't know if there's even a dozen that have it. But uh, it's a interesting uh, animal there. So right now I'm at one, two, three, four. This would be five, and mm -hmm. on the first bound, the slowly can move a second time. Okay. And he doesn't have to be. He doesn't have to go into uh, bad going. Bad going on the first bound. So there we go. That's six. And used them all up. Huh? It was all part of your plan. Everything up. Okay. Well, I'm afraid if I roll another one, I'm going to be toast. Toast. <laughs> you can hope, right? <laughs> all right. Here we go. Uh -oh. There we go. Well, that's a little extreme. Uh -oh. There's going to be an extremist dice. <laughs> The dice listen. Okay, so we've got six. We're definitely going to want to get him in the front lines here. This is a solid ox here? Yes. Solid ox, a knight, side chariot. Okay. Got Mithridates being a coward back there? Yeah, he's uh, checking out from the rear. Doing his nails? <laughs> Check, checking out your guy's rears. Gotcha. <laughs> well, he's kind of Greek, so that's all right. <laughs> Yep. Uh, SOP, Standard Operating Procedure. There you go. Okay, so... Interesting. Well, I've got six. Time to make something happen. So we're going to move this guy two base widths off to the side for one. He'll do the same for two. I'm actually going to move him a little short because I want to get this guy to do this whole... Well, I don't have to do that. Because he could just fill up the space here. Okay. So he's... So we've got one, two. This guy will go three. This guy will go four right there. Making a hole for the chariot, are you? <laughs> Let him through. Yeah, it looks good on paper. <laughs> Okay, we don't have any command issues because these guys don't we don't have a line of sight blockage here. So these guys can move three. So we moved four already. Five. Let's move this guy over here, six. No, this is important. Okay, you're not totally off to the side of me, and you're all up against the edge, so mm -hmm. you can't yep. you can't close this door just like that. Not just like that. Okay. Well, I already goofed up since it's been several months of, since we've played. I'll go ahead and take the time right now and talk about the figures because that's one of the things we're doing right now is talking about the figures. Um, you'll just have to go fast. You'll just have to rewind and look at the close-ups we see. But, um, Mitch, I think your army was uh, painted by someone. You picked it up at Historicon, right? Yep. Ron yep. Felderman picked up your, uh, yep. painted your army. Okay. Yep. And uh, it looks like it's a mixture of, um, I'd say it's chariot figures, most of them. Um, I know, you just nod your head like you know what I'm talking yeah, about. Yeah, exactly. Everybody and, see that? Yep. Yeah. <laughs> I'm, I'm an internet surface. So I'm always looking at figures. So yeah. It looks like Chariot. They're very nicely painted. Uh, you picked them up at Historicon from uh, Ron Felderman. And uh, mine are all Old Glory. Um, every single one of them is Old Glory out of their Marion range. So uh, you can go back and take a look at that uh, the pan at the beginning. Um, okay, sorry about that inter Small commercial interruption for selling <laughs> figures and um, painting services. All right, so that's that's going to be my movement. All right, no yep. shooting. Yep, you're so right. no, no, no shooting in these armies. Pips.
Hey, that works. <laughs> yeah, you're still stuck on that whole Cobra Commander thing going on. Yeah. Trouser! Mm-hmm. <laughs> oh, man. Well, let's, uh, let's go up here. The push of the pike. Yeah, Mythobates is an interesting character. I've uh, read an audiobook on him called The Poison King. It's actually pretty, pretty interesting. Uh, you might want to check that out. If uh, I don't do a lot of reading because it's too relaxing, it puts me to sleep. But uh, I do, do enjoy it. audiobooks. Allow me to get through it. So uh, I do a lot of stuff with Audible. And uh, Poison King, pretty cool book on uh, interesting character. And we don't want to get tangled up into your saloi. So those guys actually move like a cavalry, huh? Yes. Okay. Okay, and that cost him two of two move because he's not moving into close combat. Right. If you're going to combat, it only costs one. Okay. But so you got one pip left. Not going in the combat. Knigget time. And bring him over. Okay. Now you've got him, that's where he is, or he's lined up in frontal combat with, with, with this guy? He should be lined up with that guy. Okay, so let's move him back a little bit. And that way you could move them all forward for one pip if you needed yeah. to do that. Yep. Gotcha. And that'll be it. That'll be one, two, three, four. Okay. How about that shooting? Done. Yep, all done. Okay. Okay. Hips it is. <laughs> three. Well, wow, it's like bowling with this die. It's so average. Yeah. <laughs> Strange using a die with sharp edges. Think that's gonna roll up make it roll more average? I don't know. I'm sure somebody will figure that out by now. <laughs> Well, that's funny. For guys that are supposed to do contact sports, those knights are kind of scared. Yeah, they're um, holding back. They don't want to get in a tie. Tie games suck. <laughs> For those of you who don't know, that's ties on blades, knights die. So, And it happens quite frequently. <laughs> quite frequently. Okay, so... Two elements wide, and they can move. A whopping one. A whopping one. No. Okay. That's going to be one. Two. And by the way, they get to where there's not going to be I don't think so, but it's nice to look. One of the nicest aspects about uh, DVA is you can pre-measure everything. And it is it benefits you to do so because when things get bumped by, you know, like a green die bumping into things and moving them out of place. Oh, and for figures. That's right. It's... Um, <laughs> It is easy to find where they were beforehand. All right, well, we're playing this whole keep away game. I'm going to go ahead and move uh, Mr. Saloy. Huh. I'm going with you. That's right. <laughs> okay, that's where he's going to be. So there's my three. All right. Okay. Shooting done. Shooting done. <laughs> yep. And peep! Oh, that's not what we wanted. Well, that's why you line up the guy. Like he's he's basically he probably can't tell on the camera, but he's actually lined up with the back guy, so he can move forward if he had to. Just gives you an option. There's no reason to set up like this when you can set up like that. 
if you need to. You never know. You probably aren't going to move them straight forward, but especially if you get into Zockland here. I think. Uh, oh yeah, and I forgot to mention I I'm playing the good guys. <laughs> <laughs> Which is what I always say, no matter who I'm playing. We're gonna go right there. Okay. That was my big one. Shooting's done. That's all you're doing, huh? Back to the bad guys. <laughs> okay. Pips ahoy. Oh, very Three. Good. Well, let's take a look at something. Let's see if within... And by the way, if you're wondering, these, these are really cool elements. They're made by Dave's Baggage Train. We picked them up at Historicon. They come in a, a five-pack of two base widths, three base widths, four. There's also a five and a six. Five's for artillery. Six is... Well, what the hell do you use six for? Well, the cool thing about six is this allows... This is the area that a BUA can be in. It's got to be completely in six base widths of... Yeah, so it comes in handy. Everyone you um, Dave's Baggage Train, they're, um, they're available online, the website, but this item isn't listed. So you, if you're really interested in them, we, we love these things mm -hmm. um, until one of them breaks and then we'll be all upset about it. But uh, they run like eight bucks and uh, you might want to email for them. And, for the set. For the set, yes, for the whole set. And um, you might want to email them and see if they're available to purchase online. But we found them very, very handy. Um, they, you can get them and, and measure in, in hard-to-reach spaces. So, uh, Okay, so we've got uh, three pips. And, uh, boy, I'm doing a lot of uh, commercial. commercial yeah, people. really. I mean, you know, yeah. you'd think that I was a sales weasel or something. I bet you, you know? I'm just coming back from the bathroom now. <laughs> <laughs> Well, uh, let's see. He can't quite reach the front edge. Tricky, tricky. Tricky. And because he's in there, he can only move one. Yeah, can only move one. Well, you know what? We're just going to push the pawn a little bit. Ooh. Well, it wasn't meant to be scary. <laughs> it's almost Halloween. Almost. Almost. It's your Halloween wish. The videos are coming out before Halloween. Dun, dun, dun. The next batch will come out, uh, well, when we, when we do them. So. <laughs> okay, that's one. So, um, ooh, almost out of the woods yet. I mean, out of the scrub yet. I Not feel, quite. I feel dirty. <laughs> okay. And from my life. Didn't it roll a three last time, too? Yep, yep. Wow. You can rewind it and find out. You know, I'll take a three for pips every time. <laughs> I'll be like happy you. with that. Oh, the Romans, yeah. I'll be happy with Romans that. Romans are quite efficient, usually. You know what? We're going to... Um, this guy smells something funny. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. And it's yeah. not himself. We're not going to be... <laughs> no, these guys bathe at least once a week. Uh. So, you know, they're like clean by, you know, oil methodatic status. Yeah, yeah, olive oil, man. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Okay, there's my three. So, uh, there it is. you're up. Come on, old pips. Oh. oh. This is not what we wanted. The time's ticking here. We got to well, that's, go. that's pretty silly that you picked your own die and you, rolled, and you picked a roll wiener like that. Yeah. We got to go. We've got to go. We can't wait. Make it happen. Yeah, yep, 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 yep. Okay. Let's start with uh, six to five. Okay, so I'm a five and you're a six. Yep. Okay. And it's you a get pushed. Yep. And we're both, and we're both solid. solid, so there we stay. Nothing happens. Okay. Now, now we're going here. Five to five. I'm a five, and you normally would be a six. This guy in the end makes you a, a five. Five to five. Push well, this time I get pushed back. Okay. And I follow up. And you're impetuous. Okay, now this guy's locked down because I couldn't get over far enough. Uh -huh. This guy's in Zock. That's all right. All right. It's all good. Pips. Uh, three. That's three threes in a row. Hey, you picked the die, dude. <laughs> <clears throat> oh, you're the my. picker. Yep. You're the dice picker. Well, let's see if you... Um, 
think you can do it. Yeah. Yep. Yep, yep. yep. Okay. That's okay. definitely gonna be one. It would be stupid not to do that. Then went too far far ahead. Done went too far. <laughs> okay. Didn't know you were from southern Illinois. Well it's very mountainous and where we live. Okay. <laughs> yeah. This guy should be here. Again, it's the the old bump factor. Well, he better kill those two guys because right now he's looking pretty juicy lined up for a nah, come on. A side raping there. <laughs> a side Side, side raping. Can it only be a side to go? <laughs> well, if I felt lucky. Well, do you? <laughs> yeah, I don't know about that. I'd push in here with the knife. Make you conform to me. I'd be a three. Be You'd be two. a two with an overlap. I win on doubles and ties. Yeah. Mm, don't need to do that just yet. Let's push the pawn on this side where I think, emphasis think, I have an advantage. Aha! Well, that one killed me last turn. You know, the two ones in a row. Yeah. It's all right. Combat's coming up. Yep, yep. Maybe yep. you've saved up those pips and I don't know about it yet. Come on, combat. Well, we'll you find out what these Romans are made you, out of. You still got one left. Well, if you're going to be like that. I just pointing it out. Not that you need to do anything. Yeah, I'm pretty, um, pretty good. I could push this in here, but there's, uh, there's no hurry to do that. I could end up hosing myself and. There you go. And then you'll be like, I wish I didn't push that. <laughs> Let's, um. Let's push him here. Ah. So you make sure that we don't, um, that guy doesn't I die. Smell him. He's getting close. Mm -hmm. All right. Okay, That's... festivity time. So we're, of course we're going to start here. Yeah. I'm a five. Yep. You're a, you're a three plus three. So you're a six. Down to a five. This guy overlaps your four. So I'm a five, you're a four. Here we go. Ooh. Okay, so it's a lock. Nope. You're a five on the well, floor. Well, lock on the die. Oh, so yeah. I'm one higher than you. And what happens? They both, both die. die because the door is closed. And, and this guy like goes it. up 20, 20 millimeters. There half a base width. There he is. All right. Okay. And then. Uh, so here, I'm a five. You are a six. This guy makes you a five. That guy makes you a four. There you go. Okay. We'll so push. I am a. Mm -hmm. 10 push to me. 7. You push, and I come back. I move oh, forward. Running out of room. I'd hate for you to roll a 1 again. We cannot afford another 1. You hear that? Commie dies. <laughs> <laughs> Did a no, good job of selling it. There we go. It might be a little late. You just had to admit that it was a commie yeah. die. All right. I'm sorry I insulted you by not calling you commie die before. <laughs> All right. Now, I know people around the world are watching this. In this country, <laughs> a commie die is a bad thing. <laughs> Just so we're straight. <clears throat> All right. Well, this will cost one because we're going in the okay. combat. Okay. And this. Now put your guys over there for the. Oh, yeah. Yeah, so they you can, can't see, can they? People can pay attention. Hey, what's the score? I don't know. Look at the end. Score notes. here. So, so we'll go ahead and these guys all move three. So this will all move up. Uh oh, where these guys come from? Oh, those guys look like imitate. Oh, no, they, we are off, aren't we? This guy yep, cannot. Yep, he move. cannot fit, right. So. And that wasn't some clever ploy. It's just, it is what it is. Just, oh, wait. No, 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 no. Remember, I'm, you're a single correct, guy. Correct, correct. Move the whole group up. So Move I can, the whole group up. Yep. We'll still go. Okay, whoa, whoa. The problem with that is, go back to where you were. Uh, roughly about here. Okay. 
This guy's lined up with him, right? Yep. Okay, when he turns, you're at 90 degrees, so you have to line up on him. So to do that, you have to be here. Oh, yeah. Which means so, you don't have that space. Yep, 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 yep. yep. It's like a, this This game's like a proof theorem. Yeah. You know, so, yep. um, so yeah. So, let's see. Let's and if you move them first, then you wouldn't have enough space for him. No, actually. Okay. Because they are here. Okay. So let's say... You move straight forward. We go first. Okay. You move straight forward. I'm going to conform to you. Yeah. Okay. Now what happens? Because we're going to be... Right. Oh, because I'm past yeah. the front of the... Yeah. Okay. Okay. Yeah. yeah, you're good. Yeah. Yep. Okay. And now he'll come up. Yeah, because there's a, like five difference there. But you know what? He won't be able to hit that guy. No. Oh, because, see, there, here's a conundrum. <laughs> if I go this route, mm -hmm. now I take away this attack here because now he's zocking out here, and now I cannot go here. Sure you can. But the problem is going to be when you go in here, now I don't have space to conform to you. Because there's that little bit of overlap that happens before. Mm -hmm. we'll, we'll go with this and then we'll... Cause, yeah, because then what will happen is you'll turn. Mm -hmm. And you'll make your best attempt to line up. And then I will and then have to slide... And you'll be adjusted to the I'll side. I'll have to slide over. Yeah, you'll be adjusted to the side. Or fight is a minus one, which... No, no, that's, a, that's a little different. That's only on the front edge. <laughs> yeah. That's only on the front edge. So, so this one is that part where they'll... They'll actually conform. Yeah. So we'll, we'll go with that right And I'm probably going to edit this out, but people are going to want to know this part. So you can find it to the side, right? Yep. And you can do that because there's space. Right. However, when I turn to face is when we're going to invoke the turning to face a flanker reader. This is the top of page 10. Immediately after the movement, fit. oh, you, by the way, you done with all the movement? No. Okay. Well, we'll get to that. Okay. Well, okay. So let's. So right now we're at one, two. Mm -hmm. um, There'll be combat there. Because this guy's zocking, I'm gonna go ahead and launch the knight over here. Okay. Ha ha! So that is three. He's zocked by him, so four. Mm-hmm. And both these guys are Zonk, so he's going to back up to here. Okay. For five. Okay. Okay. We good now? Um, yep. Okay. So the part that says, this is the top of page 10. Immediately after the movement phase, elements contacted the flank. That's me. Uh, by an enemy front edge, turn to face the first enemy element to contact them, unless they're already in front edge contact with another enemy element. Okay, that's not. Okay, so I turn to face. And here's the next sentence. Any existing contacts are adjusted by moving the elements forward, back, or the minimum distance sideways to maintain contact. Okay, so based on that, I turn to face. Okay. Now... I don't fit, so what will happen is, is you adjusted moving the elements forward, back, or the minimum distance sideways to maintain contact. So you move to the side of me, yep. nobody gets the minus one. Yep. Okay. All right. The minus one's only on the front edge. You heard. All right. Okay. So shooting's all done. Shooting's all done. It's figured in. So um, make sure we're still in frame, and we are. Okay. Let's start. Tip this big hand there. With all the horsies. Okay. So I Where start at a three. Okay. I'll stay a three. Right. You start at three, but he's on your side, drops you to two. Right. So I'm a two, you're a three. You quick kill me, but if I outscore, you're dead. Or tie, I'm dead. <laughs> oh my gosh. Thank goodness. I okay, so you outscored <laughs> me by one, right? Yep. Okay. So he dies. 
Yep. So he goes over here. And they're impetuous. Okay, now. No, 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 no. Go back. Remember, I'm lined oh, up with these I guys. Go so here. you're going to go up yeah. to here. Now, yep. Yep. we get to read another clause. Uh -huh. Okay. That's right. He was <laughs> and this is going to be something that's going to surprise a few of you. This is under pursuing, under 12. Uh, if the pursuit, I'm not. I'm going to detail. I'm not going to read all the details on there. But the last sentence under pursuing, if a pursuing element's front edge contacts enemy, the yacht's exactly what happens, just by like five millimeters right there. Yep. Okay, or its front corner contacts an enemy front edge, they line up immediately as if contact was by a tactical move. But the resulting combat is resolved next bound. Okay, so you're the movie player. If you did a tactical move, you're going to come over here. All right. Ta-da. All right. So, next combat. Well, let's go with... So, you, this guy actually... Per, there's no combat here, but he'll provide a minus one on that guy. Yeah. So, let's go... Which with could make a difference. My six. Mm -hmm. You started a five, but right. you dropped down one to four. Correct. Big six numbers. to four. Okay. And that's a lock. Yep. So there they stay. Nine to nine. Yep. All right, we'll go here. Okay. Um, I'm a five with the guy on his flank, so I'm a four. And you're a three, three, right? Yep. Four to three? Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Uh -oh. I am I a five, one. and you are a nine, and I am lucky to be alive. Yeah. It was part of a trap. Darn. Should have went with this one first. <laughs> Wait a second. You moved forward, and I sucked over to you, right? Yes. There is a gap there. Yes. Gotcha. Yep. yep. Okay. Yep. Got to keep those. Mind the gap. Yep. Mind yourself. Mm -hmm. <laughs> All right. Let's uh, go over here with the knight. You Who's feel lucky? Um, that's. I should have. Ah, should have went there. And I thought about it. Uh, that was thinking. That's not what Mithridates did. Yeah. He went over there. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So I'm a uh, a three. Right. I'll stay a three. And here, so am I. Here, three. So I'm if you outscore me, I die. Yeah. If I double you, you die. Yep. That's which is standard. Right. But if we tie, you die. I die, yeah. Come on, Roman! No time. Okay. I ah. get paved like a like a road. Okay. So you're going to Oh yeah. Just to the end in the hip the Okay. Back of so my you're face. gonna go like twenty and look. Yep. Boom. So then you're gonna come over here. Oh, I should have done that other combat last. <laughs> well, and that's and that's the interpretation. That's the interpretation yeah. because it says, if a pursuing element's front edge contacts a front corner and uh, if a pursuing element's front edge contacts enemy, or its front edge, an enemy front edge, that's what actually happened here. It was actually your corner. Yeah. Here it was actually edge on edge because they were faced exactly the same way. Um, they line up immediately as if contact was by tactical move. So your contact. Yeah. If you were moving, you would have to conform to the single element. Mm -hmm. That's why you come to me and I don't come to you. That's right. So. So one combat left. Although, if you were in a column, okay? Mm -hmm. If you were in a column, the whole and you're impetuous, the whole column moves forward. Mm -hmm. Okay? Which means you would be a group. So yeah. if that had been a group, then yeah. I would conform to you. Yeah, because you'd be a single element. Right. So. Okay. One left. Five to three. Five to three. <laughs> no whammies. Okay. And that's a tie, and we're both solid. So we'll just sit there. Good. We'll just sit there. All right. And okay. it's your Pips turn. it is. It's two to two, baby. <clears throat> the good guys could still win. Two to two. Maybe. To be determined who the good guys are. I'm scared. Pips. <laughs> I'm still really scared now. <laughs> okay. Well, this guy's not socked by anybody. Nope. Boy, I've got some hard decisions to make. Well, let me take out four. I can either close the door on him. Actually, it doesn't really matter. Just by providing support and he right. loses, he dies anyways. Now, you, are you lined up with yourself? In other words, is, it, is there a one unit element here? Doesn't look uh, like it. Remember, we got. Yeah, I'm not sure what happened. We were. Well, in that we were, case, I'm going to move him up for one. Yeah. I'm going to move him here. Yeah. For two. Okay. Let's 
Let's see if you messed up. Well, not really, because I can't contact you to the front. Right. That's one, two. This is a winner here. You sure? <laughs> well, I'm a five and you're a three, so yeah, it's not you, likely you're going to kill me. I fought you to a standstill. You did. <laughs> You did. I think the way to skin this cat, I got two left, right? And we've got line of sight, so that's not an issue. These guys are going to move forward. Oh. You can conform to me. Well, this guy's going to come here over here and contact you on the side. Mm -hmm. He's past the side, so you can yep. do that. Yep. Yeah. forward and you contact here. There we have it. Da, da, da. That guy turns the face and we're off. All right. Okay, so uh, let's do what well, the game. The game could end this bound and it could be anybody's win. Anything. Although I'm not expecting anybody to die. The, the two losers, I, I'm more likely to lose these guys right there. So let's not do that. <laughs> let's go over here. Okay? I am a legionnaire, so I'm a blade. Uh, I'm a five down to a four, and you're a three down to a two. Yep. So four to two with a quick kill on you. Whew. Yep. Okay, Dude. you died. Okay. And you gotta go forward. And this guy moves forward 20, which is even with his back end. Okay? One more for the kill. Let's, um... Oh, keep in mind that... If I lose this guy, it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter, correct. They don't count towards the win. Correct. But uh, he does. Yes. Okay, let's do um, let's do all the way on the flank over there. We're going to do... Um, three to two? Yeah, three to two. My cab to your light horse. <laughs> okay. Yeah. You want to go back 40 or 30? I think I will go... How big a boy are you? I think I'll go whopping 40. I get with the whops. Okay. Okay. I'm Cav, so I don't move forward. Let's go ahead and do old Mithridates over here. You're a Cav general, so yep. that makes you a four. Got a guy on your flank that makes you a three. Yep. And I'm a blade. I'm also a three. So it's a three to three. Oh, my gosh. Okay, so I'm a seven, and you're a... Uh, four. Thank a goodness. four. Almost killed you. But almost don't count. And mm -hmm. I, don't, I do not... I am not impetuous against mountain. No. Blades will not so advance against mounted or saloon. So there I stay. Okay, we're going to do the uh, the blade here against your uh, auxilia. Five to Five three. Five to three. <laughs> oh. Lock again. Ah, who's nine and nine? <laughs> well, it's because we got a little bit in the grasslands here. Uh, we got, oh, I got, my, I, I got some crabgrass in my sandal. <laughs> it's always excuses like that, you know. Wait for me. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not looking. I'm not liking how this is shaping up here. Let's uh, let's go ahead and do the general on your knight. Yep. I'm normally a three. General makes me a four. You're normally a four versus mounted. That guy makes you a three. There you go. Okay. Oh, you beat me. So I'm going to. If I fall back forty. Right. Yep. I'll follow you. You're going to advance and be past him, so I won't have a minus one with him. There you go. See, folks, there there's always go. a time to play. Sometimes there's a time to do 30, sometimes a time to 40. Okay. Two left, and I'm not liking either one of them. We better do this one first. Okay. You're a three. You'll I'm a three and stay a three, and you're a three down to a two. Yep. Because of this guy on your flank. Oh my! And he's past. The only reason why I'm down one is because I'm past his his front. Correct. Let's not get hosed. Oh. No. Oh. <laughs> Double whammy. See ya. <laughs> That's right. Well, he doesn't count. Does not count. Yeah, he doesn't count. But he's not there anymore. No. Nope. So. Loser. Okay. <laughs> that is a small victory. Okay, so here. I'm a five and you're a six. And I don't care if I lose uh, that one. Push me. Well, I didn't mind if I won either. 
Okay, so I'm gonna go back, and you, your happy butts are gonna be charging forward. So it's uh. Haven't you rolled a bunch of ones for pips lately? Uh, not, not lately. Let's Come see on, what now. kind of a die you no, gave yourself. No, no. How big a die so, is it? How die? big a die is it? That's a big die. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Never say die. Yeah. <clears throat> Let's see here. Goodness, goodness, not a lot of options. Unfortunately, he's got both them zocked. So probably the best thing to do is that. Yeah, if you move forward, then I'm going to get sucked over. Yep. Yeah. So there's one. Okay. And um, two. Mm hmm. And three. You could actually kill me. There's a chance. If I roll a one on a four, and I roll a six, it's a right? six one. Yeah. <laughs> well, stranger things have happened, so. Exactly. All right, let's go with uh, three to two. He doesn't take a minus because you have to be past this flank, right. and I couldn't get there. So it's three, three to, two. to two. Push me. Wow. Look at that. Took a rock to your eye. There, ouch. There's eight to six. I'm liking this green. Oh, oh hold on. The game's not over yet. Uh oh. Like something, dude. Shut your mouth. Well, let's move here. <laughs> yeah, like Where, something. That'll yeah. learn you. <laughs> Where I'm a three plus three is six. Okay. Down one for that is a five. And okay. you're a five down one to a four. So I'm a four, you're a five. Ha! Ha! See, I told you I didn't like anything. But I did double you. Yeah. Right. I'm a six and, and you're a, a ten. ten. Okay. And I keep on following. Keep on trucking. Okay. All right, let's go over here and do the one six. Who's going to roll the one? Who's going to roll the six? So two to three. Well, well there's average. Gonna... <laughs> okay, Push you just recoil. Yeah. You're going to go back 40 again? Yep. Man. That's elusive Scythians. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And uh, see how big a leader my leader is. He's a four, minus one for the guy on the side, drops him to three, and you're a three. That's three a three. three right there. Push. Ooh. Push you. Okay, you recoiled me a little bit there. Push you. Wow. Okay. And one left. No, two, two left. Two left. Okay. Um, let's see if, if we can keep fighting you to a stand. Oh, man. You're a three, and yeah. I'm a five. Yep. So you got a four. Yep. So I need Roll at least on. a three to kill Roll you. Hold on, keep our ego well. Got him. Got him, yep, yep, yep. And you gotta go forward. Do I advance even if I'm in uh, oh. this terrain? Oh. No, you don't. I, you have to be in good going. Let's see. Pursuing. You have to be good going. Incorrect. No? It cannot be in bad going. Ah, Other so, than marsh or gully. Okay, so he can he's got to go forward. Then. Yep, because that makes all the difference in the world in a game that's over. Yeah. Well, we got one more combat. I don't think I'm going to lose two elements in that one combat. Uh, well, did we we have no, this one too, right? No, this one. And we have that one nope, to do also. That one, no, that one's done. Now. Yeah. Okay. All right. So three. I'm a you're four. four, or you're four. A three. I'm a four down to three. And... Eight to nine. There you go. And he follows up. And that's, that's the it. game where you lost two, I lost four, and a side cherry that doesn't count for the loss. The world is saved. Uh, good guys. Man. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it killed me when uh, if, if if he would have killed that guy, that would have changed. That would have. It was looking changed. likely yeah. like that was gonna that that could happen. Well, I had that chance. You rolled a one, and then I had to match you. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, um, these guys, these dice must be brothers. <laughs> good thing you picked them out, right? Yeah, exactly. That's yeah, all right. Yeah. They'll turn around for another battle with you. You know how that is. There so. you go. There you go. Um, the curse of the black die is over. Well, you use a green die. That's how it works. There it is. Um, <laughs> yeah, I, I think that was uh, the key for me. Is that lost there? That would have. If that would have. If the side chair would have killed that guy, then. 
Uh, yeah, I don't think the terrain was really a problem for either one of us. Um, no. No, it didn't really come into play. Um, nice seeing some buildings out there, but of course it didn't matter. Yeah. Uh, Women and children are safe. Yeah. Well, this is... Um, <laughs> There's uh, three battles with these guys, three major battles where these guys fought each other. So um, they're uh, they're enemies there for for a while. So uh, it's an interesting matchup, and uh, get to read up on those and learn about history. Hey, why don't you read up on those battles and find out what you did wrong? <laughs> <clears throat> well, the Mithridates got kicked kicked in all three of them too. Yeah, so same. actually, the late the later list they. Um, they lose the pike, right, and go to imitation legionnaires yes. in the last yeah. battle. So actually, yeah. the three major battles, and I don't remember what they are right now. Uh, Karenia, um, one that starts with an O, and then the last one. I don't remember right now, but the <laughs> last one they would have the legionnaire infantry. But honestly, I think that your army didn't have both options, right? Yours just had came with a pikeman. Uh, right. Yeah, yep. you could you could replace them with uh, some rogue or legionnaires. They look almost yeah. the same. Yeah. They're, they uh, they're imitation legionnaires. So, um, mm -hmm. but honestly, that I think your your army has more character using the. Pike, oh yeah, so. I like them with the pike. So they've they fought a lot of good battles so far now, and they come up a little short because it's either win or lose when you hit. <laughs> yeah, those side yeah. chariots are like devastating or. <laughs> Yep. Well, it's a good thing it didn't cost me anything. Yeah. So right. it's kind of like uh, that's that's an the extremes there somewhere. So, all right. Well, um, I hope you guys enjoyed it, and um, this is the first of a few battles that we're going to do tonight. So um, enjoy. Enjoy. We'll see. We'll catch you on the next one. Bye bye.